Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes and today is a good day because she has arrived. It is the Autumn Margot Elena box that's been sent to me for a review and I am so, so excited. Even this gorgeous fuchsia box is making me excited to check out what's inside. Of course, we already know that all Margot Elena, every line has beautiful packaging, which makes this a great box, not just to enjoy the products for yourself, but also if you are kind of thinking about some re-gifting for the holiday season. The box is $59.99 per quarter plus shipping. I believe the shipping is around $6.99 and I have very, very exciting news. So in the past, my code MAUI10 would get you 10% off a certain amount of products, but now that code will get you 10% off any purchase over $45, including the subscription box. Now in the past, because the subscription box always has a value of around $200 or more, they were unable to extend an additional discount to you, but this quarter they're letting me do it. So go ahead and take advantage of that, you guys, and get your 10% off this amazing box or anything else that you want to throw there in your cart because they have some really beautiful products. Like I said, it makes all of your gift giving super duper easy and you can restock up on all the things that you know you love. So let's go ahead and dive into this box. I am so thrilled to work with them every season. It makes me so, so happy. Oh, I got a little like note. So I'm very excited to see what's going on over there at Margo Elena. Of course, we have one of their classic Tokyo milk cards, always really pretty. And it just says, merci beaucoup. So really sweet handwritten note. We hope you and your viewers enjoy the products in the fall subscription box. Thanks so much for such a great partnership. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you over there. All right, you guys, the inside has our gorgeous theme for the season. It says painted splendor. I'm loving all the fall colors and blooms. It says the wait is over on that little pink sticker. So indeed the wait is over and like I said, she has arrived. Let's go ahead and get into the box, you guys, which you guys know is always such an experience because a lot of the time some of the items are individually wrapped, which I always just think makes it really fun. And it also makes it an option for you if you wanna slowly unbox your box over the course of the season so you don't necessarily get everything out right away. So as you can see, some of the items are just in their beautiful boxes and some of them are wrapped in a little bit of extra tissue paper. So let me see if I can just get this out of the way so that I don't knock anything down because that's something that happens sometimes here. I am not always uh, the most graceful individual. So again, it is Painted Splendor. This is box number 20. So they have been around for five years, you guys. So pretty, nice and simple little product card. And it just tells us what the items are inside as well as their values. We have a little quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald. Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. I'm so looking forward to some slightly crisper weather. It never gets truly, truly cold here in Southern California, but I could use a little more crisp and a little less uh, what's happening right now. So it says that the total retail value on this box is $200.50. So amazing, amazing value. And I'm just gonna do a quick count. It looks like we have eight products in here. And this time they have kind of organized it a little bit differently. So they actually have like a little subheader and it tells us what line it's from and then the actual item. So we have a new exclusive to the sub box item from their archive line, which I am very excited to try because they have very romantic names. You'll probably see a few archive items on my Instagram account very, very soon. If you're not already following me there, please do. I love taking photographs of Margot Elena products. We also have a couple of items from the Cottage Greenhouse which I really love those because they always have very fresh scents. Uh, Infinite She, which was a product line that I think just started last year. Tokyo Milk, we have four items from Tokyo Milk, which I know is absolutely a fan favorite. So let me just prop that up in front of me. I always kind of love like the more lifestyle items or the more exclusive items to the box that you can't just get on the website. Let's go ahead and start with one of the items that is not packaged up. This is from the Cottage Greenhouse. And you guys, this is one of my favorites. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the Japanese plum and white tea and it's their rich shea butter hand cream. Let me just read it to you. It says tender new leaves of white tea are plucked while plump full of rich antioxidants to create a tempting spa experience your skin has been craving. Bountiful and beneficial, this skincare superhero is loaded with impactful nutrients. So let me go ahead and open this up. 
But like I said, the packaging is so pretty. Even scalloped edges on the box. You could just put a bow on this and be done. Um, it would be a very generous stocking stuffer. But you guys, their hand creams are so lovely. So this is what it looks like. So it's one of those metal hand creams where you want to start rolling up the tube to really get all of that goodness out of there. So this has a value of $26. It is pretty darn hefty. Let me see how many ounces it is. Four ounces. So not good for TSA, but definitely good for your home. Let me go ahead and put that off to the side. It's one of my favorite scents. I love, love, love it. All right, here is another item that is not wrapped up, but also in pretty packaging. It's our Infinite She product. So this is an inspired lip balm. It has a value of $10. So it comes out of this little cardboard tube and then inside it just has pretty simple packaging. It's just a nice sleek black. So let me see if it says if there is a scent to that rose hip and hibiscus lip balm. And it's like one of those nice chunky ones. So that's always good as well. Let me see if it says anything along the side of it. It just tells us what the uh, ingredients are, but not necessarily the poetic description. I'll have to go to the website to check that out and find that. All right, this is one of our first wrapped up items and it is pretty darn hefty, which, you know, doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it makes me excited. Ooh, it's something in a pump bottle. So we did get a little bubble wrap to make sure everything's intact. Um, we don't get a lot of pump bottle things. Wow, this is our archive item. <gasps> I'm so excited about this, you guys. I was reading the descriptions of the new archive scents and I was like, I want them all. Um, so this is the exclusive mini journey within body lotion. It has a value of $24. I just love how simple the archive line is so far, just black and white, really simple. And this uh, journey within its notes of green tea and willow, and this is 10 ounces. This is the mini. This is like a pretty good size. Like I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Let me just give this a little sniff. Like I said, you guys are probably gonna see a few more archive items over on my Instagram. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so nice. Um, I have found through Margot Elena that I really like things with willow scent and green tea always kind of gives it like a nice earthy, like freshness at the same time. So yay. And I'm always looking for a body lotion. Actually, my husband is always looking for a body lotion. He is always asking me, did you get another one? And then he loves the like pump bottle ones too. So because I basically have kicked him out of our closet and he has to use the closet here in the office, I allow him to use the body lotions that I get. But that one, that one's really special. So I might not let him have that one. All right, you guys, we have another little wrapped up item. This one's a little bit smaller, more bubble wrap. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Ooh, this one's this one's a little spooky, but kind of perfect for the season. Now, as someone who has arachnophobia, this, this one might give me a little pause. I might not keep it on my dresser, but like I said, kind of perfect for the season. It's from Tokyo Milk in their dark line. Ooh, wow. It is their Black Widow Eau de Parfum. Isn't that like striking though? I'm, I'm glad it's the white on the black versus actually looking like a big black spider because that, that would give me pause, I think, if I caught it out of the corner of my eye for sure. This has a crazy value, guys, of $48, which honestly is not that bad for this size of an eau de parfum. So it has scarlet sage, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and oak moss. So that's that sounds better. I don't even like looking at the spider on this side, you guys. So it's number 38, but look how nice this bottle is. So chic. I love that. Um, so, ooh, I can smell it. Oh, wow, that does have like a nice warmth to it. Definitely more of a fall scent. I'm into it. I'll give it a try. I will just turn the spider side to the wall so I don't have to be freaked out. Okay, we've got a couple more items to go, which I am thrilled about, of course. So, <sighs> this box just always every single time I'm like why did I wait so long to get this box when I first started my channel I was like you know fragrances I want to pick them out myself I have like found so many fragrances that I probably wouldn't have picked out for myself through this discovery box we got another Tokyo milk item Tokyo milk I will say has some of the best packaging it's very um very ornate and it's always got a little glitter this is the tokyo milk follow your dreams look it's got a unicorn on it you guys and the mane has glitter in it i don't know if you can see that this is a hand poured perfumed luminary so at margo elena we call candles luminaries uh <laughs> i act like i work there it says burn within sight and do not leave unattended absolutely it's good to have those directions but i have to see how to get into it so this is citrus zest rosewood mimosa 
and Mandarin. Um, those are all a lot of things that I like quite a bit. I was I, I took a little pause when I saw the rosewood, but I think it's just going to have more of a woody, earthy scent. Um, citrus, zest, and mimosa and Mandarin, though, I mean, those are all like citrus scents and all sound like right up my alley. I'm just trying to figure out how to get into the package, you guys, without totally ruining it, because you know how I tend to do that with these little pull tabs. Uh, I just love that it comes in its own little box and then it's got more unicorn on top. More unicorn, that's what we all need, more unicorn. This is a good size candle too for a subscription box. It says, follow your dreams. Let's see. Oh my gosh, so it's not super like zingy the way citrus can be. Like sometimes it just smells like you opened up an orange, right? And it's not like that. It's got, it's got a lightness to it, which I think is from the rosewood actually and maybe the champagne of the mimosa. Ooh, hmm. It might actually just like be a mimosa tree and not like the mimosa drink, I guess, probably. Um, that smells really good. It's very light. It is not heavy at all, and I appreciate having a little bit of lightness, even though this is a fall box, because it can get really like heavy, and it can get very sweet in the fall season in terms of fragrance. This is lovely. You guys know I love getting a candle from Margot Elena Discovery Boxes. It's one of my favorite things. You guys look on the website and use my code at some of the amazing candles that they have on that website. Like there's a whole section just for luminaries. Some of them are huge and stunning and come in beautiful vessels. Like there's some really good candles. I have, I have definitely gotten quite a few candles from there. And again, great gifts. If you don't wind up having use for them, which who doesn't have use for more candles? I have like an entire stack of candles. Great gifts, beautiful gifts. More Tokyo milk, let's see. So that, uh, let's see, that candle had a value of $24. That seems pretty reasonable. Then we have one of these. And so let me see if I can do undo the wrap on this so we can take a look at it. So I think we've gotten, I may have gotten this once before on my own. This is their cream perfume. And I think that this is the gin and rose water. Yes, it's the gin and rose water. It's number 12. Not like usually my thing. I'm not like a huge fan of rose scents, like rose hips, rose water. I'm not a huge fan of gin, honestly, in terms of it as a spirit, but it might give it a nice, it might cut the rosiness of it for me. So let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Ooh, so it's not like a hard perfume, which is nice. It really is like a cream, almost like a slightly thicker body butter. You guys, I actually really like this. I actually really like this. And I just, I just like prefaced it by saying like, I am not going to like this because I don't like either of those scents. And I, this smells so good. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm holding on to this one because it's lovely. It did kind of like get slid over to one side. So I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit off of the inside of the lid and rub it into my hand because with the cream perfumes, I feel like a little goes a long way. Ooh, that like rubbed in really nicely, kind of moisturized my hand at the same time. And it smells great. It's very light. It's not super rosy. I am super into that. Sometimes the Tokyo milk scents, in all honesty, can be a bit intense for me. So I am very, very pleased with this candle and this um, cream perfume because they are not. They're a little bit lighter. They're a little bit fresher. And of course, I love their packaging. All right. We've got one more item before we get to uh, our kind of a signature thing that's in a lot of the uh, boxes. This is the other item from the Cottage Greenhouse. Ooh, I'm going to like this. It's a cucumber and honey moisture rich dry body oil. So body oils are great. I used to think it was crazy to put body oils on because who wants to be oily and greasy, but they absorb so nicely. I love that this one comes in a pump bottle. Let's read. It says, cucumber is nature's emollient, a sparkling tonic used to help soften and refresh thirsty skin. Cool as a cucumber, it gives you the quenching boost your skin needs to look its healthy best. Botanic infusions chosen for their therapeutic properties. And then it says, why dry is actually moisture rich. See, this is good. This is good knowledge for us. It says, never greasy, dry body oils claim their fame by being happy hydrated that is ultra light while absorbing quickly and easily into thirsty skin. Our natural grapeseed oil formula smooths on sensationally and we've added just the right amount of coconut oil to nourish even the most yearning skin. And also good to know, no parabens, gluten-free and never animal tested. We love to hear that. That's an important point for I know a lot of us, but you guys, anything cucumber, I just think is so refreshing. 
Ooh, it does smell like cucumber, but not too strong. Like my husband is not a fan of cucumber because he just thinks it like has too strong of a scent and a flavor if it's in foods. I love it. I just, it makes me like feel a little more awake. It's almost like a citrus scent for me. Um, so I love it and I would love to put that on like right after a shower just to moisturize and it's like nice and light, not the way that some body butters or lotions can feel. Although this, this archive body lotion, you guys smells so good. <laughs> All right, our last item is actually several. We got three Tokyo Milk greeting cards, which is kind of a normal thing in the Margo Elena box. And you guys, these, I think each have a value of around $5 or $5.50. So total value is $16.50 on these. That's pretty awesome. So signature stationary greeting cards. I have quite the collection now, um, and I almost want to get a bunch of them framed. I think it would be really cute to just have like a grid on the wall of a bunch of these because they're so cute. But I also also kind of love the like cheeky sayings on them so they always come on this really pretty paper it's got like a slight texture to it um, and this one says sending you a bear hug and the bear has some glitter on his booty which is adorbs let's see what the other ones look like these are like new ones so I've definitely have I have I have probably like 20 of these cards now but I have used them in a pinch because they are so pretty as birthday cards oh here's another one oh snap another birthday and if you didn't already guess of course it's a crocodile or is this an alligator I think that's a crocodile let's see I can't quite see its snout to figure it out but also a little bit sparkly I'm loving the animal theme and then this one you guys is probably my favorite one I love the I love they're all so cute they're like kind of like scientific drawings but then they add a little bit of whimsy to them with the glitter this one just says big thank you and it's a hippo and she's got a glittery pink bow on her head. Isn't that cute? That is the cutest. That's adorable. All right, you guys, let's go over everything that we got in this 250 cent value box that you can get for just $60 plus shipping, but you can get 10% off. And of course, if you just want a couple of these items, you want to try some of these things that you saw, as long as you spend $45, you can still use the code and get 10% off. I'll leave the details below. We got our exclusive mini journey within body lotion. And this is in a really nice hefty bottle. It almost, is this glass? I think it might be glass because it's nice and hefty. It smells so good. Feels really good too. We got two items from the cottage greenhouse. We got our cucumber and dr honey dry body oil, which I am very excited to use and our hand cream. That was the first thing that we pulled out in that really pretty box. It was a big one. Remember four ounces. We got our infinite she inspired lip balm that came in that cute little uh, cardboard tube and then four items from Tokyo milk. But really it was like seven because we got the three greeting cards. Super duper cute. We got our black Widow Eau de Parfum, which scares me a little bit, but does smell very, very nice and is a good fall scent, I feel like. We got our Gin and Rose Water Cream Perfume, which is great. I, I really like it. And then finally, we got our Follow Your Dreams Luminary, which I also really enjoy. So, you guys let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these fragrances or products, what your favorite one in this box is. And you guys, it's a great opportunity if you've been holding off, you've been waiting to get the Margot Elena box. It is always a fantastic value, but now you can get 10% off as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe to my channel to see the unboxings that I do here every single day. Give this video a like. It would help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.